John, how's the tour been so far? Brilliant. Um, obviously, to come away with the first team staff and players um, is a brilliant experience for all of us, really. The young players have really embraced it. Um, it's been tough physically for them, but not just physically. Um, you know, they've had to be on it in sessions mentally as well, because um, within the sessions, there's lots going on. Um, there's really high standards, lots of demands are put on all the players. So uh, they've, 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 they've enjoyed it, but it's been, it's been really tough for them. So it's a great experience from just being around the senior pros, isn't it? And, and learning from them. Yeah, definitely, you know, um, particularly on the pitch, you see how the likes of Fads and Liam Kelly, the other senior pros, how they train every day, how consistent they are. Um, so they get to see how they perform on the training pitch, but also in and around the facility, how they behave. You know, they're very respectful to each other, obviously staff members, members of the public, um, very professional. So all in all, it's been a real positive positive experience for, for the younger players of the football club. And it's different levels of intensity as well to the training. Like you say, it's twice a day and, and it, it's that, that speed as well. Yeah, I mean, kind of just watching it from, a, from afar, how quickly the ball moves across the pitch uh, when the players are moving the ball f forwards up the pitch trying to attack in different sessions it's really impressive um, and and the, like I say the boys have enjoyed it they've been challenged um, but at different times they've shown glimpses of quality um, I think they've all shown their strengths they haven't always got it right of course but um, you know they're still learning and they're fortunate because um, the gaffer AD Dennis They've all got um, lots of experience, but development experience as well in terms of you know pr producing players and developing players, and it's been great for them to be in and around it. Yeah, that, that's important for them to work with those coaching staff and, and get their, their names out there and their faces seen as well. Yeah, I must say it's been um, it's, it's been brilliant to, to see, you know, obviously the gaffer. AD Dennis and all of the support staff have got around the, the younger players and really helped them throughout the whole trip and uh, um, obviously yeah, it's, it's helped them massively but at the same time they've challenged them as well you know mm. any, any time they've took the foot off the gas um, they're, they're told indefinitely to put the foot back on uh, and I'm sure by the end of this trip their fitness, uh, their technical abilities will have all improved and developed and um, what a brilliant start to the season for them. Yeah, have you already seen a change in them? I know it's only been a few days, but have you, have you seen that already? Yeah, I mean, as you can imagine, when they first come into a new environment, um, they can be a little bit tentative. Um, they're, they're, they're cautious, they want to be respectful to everyone, but you really you want them to take the shackles off, especially on the grass. Um, and some of them have taken to it quicker than others, you know, individually they're all different. Um, but all in all, we've been really, really pleased with the, their efforts and uh, performance. And obviously, we haven't got to the end of the week yet, so we've got a few sessions to go. Uh, and hopefully they can step up within those, those sessions. And it was a very strong season for the under-21s last campaign, in, in the league and the Birmingham Senior Cup, of course. Um, what are the aims for the new season? Well. Like you say, we had some really good results last season. Uh, in the early part of the season, we were disappointed with some of the performances. Um, we'll be looking, you know, it's, it's an old cliche, we'll, we will be looking to, to continue to develop the individuals, really. That's the most important thing. Um, they're all at different stages on their journey. Um, of course, we'll, we'll, we'll have the games program, the under 21s game program, which will provide them with different challenges. Um, some of the other younger players could potentially go out on loan uh, like they did last season and we had some brilliant returns out of that um, so the aim is to continue to develop them on and off the pitch um, and you know since I've been at the football club um, it's been great to see all of the academy players on their journeys and continue their development um, you know all the way down under eights all the way up to the 18s 21s and like we've just spoken about, to have some of the 18s and 21s in or around uh, the first team staff and players has been an absolute positive.
Mm. And they were in and around the first team staff the other night when they uh, did their initiation songs. Um, how did that go? Impressive, to be honest. I think for some of them it was their best performance. Um, <laughs> no, it was uh, a good evening, the old initiation songs. Uh, it's a bit of a laugh and a joke, a good social. Uh, but for, for young players, it can be really nerve-wracking. And I've got to say, they all stood up uh, and did themselves proud. Some good voices there. Um, some good song choices, yeah. some real good song choices, and I was happy to lead the way. And it was good to see the boys, like I say, step up and do the business. Yeah, you, you, you mentioned yours leading the way. We can't just leave it at that, can we? <laughs> that, was, that was quite a performance. Well, I'm not going to lie, it's not my first initiation song, so I've got a few up my sleeve and uh, yeah I had to pull one out and lead the way lead by example and it was great to see the boys take a little bit of confidence from that uh, uh, and sing their songs the way they did it was good and uh, you know the rest of the group joining in with them helped some of them had a bit of a stuttering start um, a few of them had a few technical issues but they, they all managed to get through it which was pleasing to see yeah it was great to see and it's great to see how they've, they've fitted in with the lads and, and really developed during the week so uh, thank you John Cheers, Mark.